What's up everyone, Prince of Maria from Quickcoms Rwanda and welcome to another exciting episode. Today I am in Rusororo and about to tour this beautiful property behind me. This home is nice, it's a four bedrooms, three bathroom home and it's close to Inare Arena. For people who know Rusororo, Rusororo is a very beautiful area to live in. It's on the market for 200 million Rwandan francs or $185,000. You can find our contact details in the description down below and consider subscribing if you are new here and without further ado please enjoy this episode all right we start our episode from outside here parking space you have space for uh, about six cars a nice driveway really paved nicely and on this side that's where we have the garden this home is split in two ways the plot is 500 square meters but from what I can see it's 250 square meters of garden space and parking space and 250 square meters for just the house so really good use of space in the future if one wanted to use this space for another project they could do so and that is amazing so the the garden is pretty nice and it's good space for kids to play, very practical to host your guests and the parking space as well is uh, as big because it just complements this beautiful property on the side. The home itself looks nice, you have some uh, wall master cladding on the walls and you know the color uh, the color palette they went with is this chocolate white some gray and a little bit of green they kind of match really well in a sense it's colors that i wouldn't imagine would make sense but they kind of make sense they look clean from the outside and you can see the design is this uh, modern contemporary design with really straight lines and just beautiful accents throughout you have two balconies on the side uh, which are actually cantilevered because you can see this one is cantilevered this one is not but the ceiling is cantilevered as well which is beautiful this home is nice and it looks clean it looks presentable even from the outside before we leave this spot i want to mention something we have an annex that is built a little bit different usually we know that annexes that i usually show you are just like last thoughts this one doesn't look like a last thought because it's actually a one level uh, annex because you have your kitchen down you have one bathroom down as well and up top you have a maid room with some stairs made of metal and made of steel and you have a tank of water up top to give you constant pressure uh, within the property again let's now enter the house and see what it looks like before you enter the property you have again this particular space which is tiled up really nicely you have a little garden that kind of uh, contours around uh, the fence and as well giving you a nice texture it's a nice addition a nice pinch of garden in front of your property which is great and entering the property we see these big doors big it's a, it just gives you a warm entrance to the property and entering the living room you have this amazing space i mean look at this space it's huge this is your living room i love the attention to detail because they kept the color palette inside the house pretty minimalistic because you have just black ass accents and the rest is kind of a white texture gypsum ceilings cove light detail nice centerpiece in the middle you have some ambient light on the side which are also black nice touch you have all the switches and plugs are all black it complements really nicely with the color palette of the house now continuing this way that's where we have our dining area the dining area as well is nice good space you can fit a six seater here no problem at all and it kind of opens up really nicely to the living room as it opens up nicely to the kitchen and look at this kitchen plenty of space plenty of space because all this side is empty and only cabinets are on this side so you can really find some practical things to do with this space because it's it's black granite every other detail like these handles the plug is black you know even the the, the the faucet for for your vanity in the kitchen is also black which is nice of course plenty of space space for your fridge on this side 
you can do so many things with this particular kitchen which is very very good you have your pantry room in here and continuing our tour i want to tell you a little bit about the positioning of stuff in this house you have the living room dining area and kitchen plus one bedroom self-contained on this ground floor and you have three bedrooms one sitting room and the master bedroom up top for the final flow now i won't wear everything not to bore you so let me jump upstairs show you one room and one bathroom and also show you the master bedroom to close it off so welcome oops now coming up the stairs we reach this landing the landing transitions perfectly to this sitting area it's a small one you know you could put one sofa here have the tv on the wall and it's just perfect space to play your video games or just sit to enjoy a tv show this balcony space for this area opens up and it gives you this space to really have a feel of the neighborhood you know you have your kitchen that i was mentioning shortly with the bathroom and you have the maids room up top and you know the area the whole neighborhood looks clean it looks fantastic and you know it's just a good addition plus when this is open you get to have much more air flowing so we have two rooms on this side sharing one bathroom let me show you one of them this is what the typical bedroom of this house looks like it's a, you know it's a spacious bedroom you can fit uh, a queen size bed in here you have space for your closet you can build it as, or just put it here it looks nice because it's space uh, allocated for just the closet and as i said these two bedrooms share one bathroom the position of this bathroom is as well fantastic because you have your walk-in shower over here i don't know nice devices they used for uh, your bathroom you have your toilet over here and you have a fabricated sink area countertop in granite mdf boards and a mirror assembled really nicely the bed this was made from uh, it was made by the developer it wasn't just bought as a complete set now as i said we have this whole wing for the master bedroom and the master bedroom as well is fantastic welcome in now this master bedroom area is split in two sides we have on the right side the bedroom itself and the balcony and on the left side we have the master bathroom and the walk-in closet let me show you what the walk-in closet looks like so we have this space it's come on look at this it's a huge room for the walk-in closet i mean there are no uh, closets built in but it can show you that any type of design you would wish uh, to go for you can fit in here no problem at all entering this side that's where we have our uh, bathroom look at this space it's also as well very good pretty pretty expansive because of course there are no uh, there are no built-in cabinets but you know it's practical and one can really visualize how to put it neatly on this side we have your toilet as well pretty well fit it's nice in the corner right there and on this side that's where we have our vanity area fabricated uh, kind of countertop and everything just assembled pretty nicely by the developer now let's go on the other side and show you what the bedroom looks like come on in entering this way that's where we have our master bedroom i mean for just the bedroom this room is huge you can fit any size of bed in here again plenty of plugs for your devices we have about four plugs in here and nice wall scansers by the head uh, where you put your, your 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 head board just by that side and if you wanted to put the tv in this room as well you have your plug for the tv in here so very practical bedroom which is nice of course the master bedroom comes with a balcony and the balcony opens up to this space it shows you what the neighborhood looks like it's a very pretty modern neighborhood the tarmac road is just that side where you can see that bike and you know the home is just in a very very well uh, kind of well built neighborhood all right everyone that's it with this episode we saw this house in Rusororo. it's a four bedrooms three bathroom home and on a plot of land of 500 square meters 
it's on the market for 200 million random francs or $185,000. You can own this today. Find our contact details in the description down below. And as always, we are happy to hear from you, to hear what our tours look like. So tell us in the comments below what you think this episode was like. And as always, see you next time.